growing numbers of people are rediscovering their love for the goddess. At first, this love may seem to be no more than an inner feeling. Then it becomes a longing. The Fellowship of Isis has been founded to answer this need. Really, we wanted to bring the goddess through because the world is out of balance. And our ceremony yesterday was to balance Isis and Osiris, the divine feminine, with the patriarchal god. In the land of ancient Celtic mythology, there is still a place dedicated to the worship of the goddess. Clonagall Castle in County Wexford, Ireland, built in 1626 on an ancient Druidic site. Since 1780, the castle has been the ancestral home of the Durden Robertson family. Lawrence Durden Robertson, the 23rd Baron of Strathlock, became so deeply interested in occult philosophies that in 1976, he, along with his wife Pamela and his sister Olivia, founded the Fellowship of Isis. May wisdom and joy prevail. The Fellowship of Isis is a multi-religious, multicultural society seeking to reconnect its members with the principle of the Divine Feminine in mankind. There are Catholic priests, nuns, witches and spiritualists walking around the gardens on a Sunday, drinking well water from the temple and lighting candles. A former Anglican priest, Lawrence received an insight or revelation that the feminine aspect within religious life was crucial, that God encompassed the feminine and was not an exclusively masculine deity. Uh, I had, well, we could just call it a revelation or the insight that the feminine aspect of deity was all important, or in other words, that God was feminine or female and from then on, um, a great many things changed, particularly the, the uh, theology. It became clear to the Durden Robinson siblings that the source of much of the trouble of the world could be traced to the predominance of the patriarchal system and the damaging effects of its attendant power drive. The theory being that dominance of patriarchy in our world creates an overemphasis on the struggle for power and dominance over nature. It creates an environment in which war and conflicts of all kinds flourish. In order to address this imbalance, it is necessary to rediscover the suppressed feminine within the collective psyche of humanity. The Fellowship of Isis has been founded to answer this need. Really, we wanted to bring the goddess through because the world is out of balance. And our ceremony yesterday was to balance Isis and Osiris, the divine feminine, with the patriarchal god. The Fellowship seeks to reintroduce its members to this feminine principle, the Goddess. The healing and balancing effects of an increasing awareness of the feminine characteristics of compassion, nurturing, intuition and simply being will offset the destructive tendencies of the patriarchal, often destructive, power-driven system. The resulting balance could result in a widespread healing of conflicts evident throughout the natural, political and cultural worlds. The challenge is to enable individuals to recognise that they live with and are subject to a patriarchy, and then to connect to the suppressed feminine principle within themselves. A dialogue with the goddess, in all her forms, facilitates this paradigm shift. There is no specific dogma to divide people. There is one factor in common with all religions, the feminine, something they feel needs emphasizing at this time. The Fellowship of Isis dedicates itself to worshiping the goddess in all religions, wherever she is found. There are now over 50,000 members in 53 countries, and some of them travel to Clonagall Castle for ordination. This is the story of one family's attempt to correct the imbalance of the patriarchy we are now so overwhelmed by and reawaken the feminine in our psychic collective lives. Weep no more, lament no longer. The hour of deliverance is nigh. I hail the goddess Hathor. 
goddess of love, goddess of beauty. She, who is the inner sun within all existences, emerging from the darkness of the holy ruins of the galaxy. And I remember A. I remember Yates, and they really got contacted. A. E. said he didn't like to tell, but he had been contacted by the gods and goddesses of Ireland. I said, silly to go around worshipping anybody. I hate to worship, it's grovel. If you worship, you're separating yourself from the person you're communing with. They're all, they don't punish us one little bit. They want to talk to us, commune with us. Because I'm 91, and I, well, I've always thought I was going to die at the end of the year all my life, and I never have, which makes me enjoy life a lot. Yates told my mother he believed this, but needed to do the Golden Dawn rituals in order to get through, but they got through. Weep no more, lament no longer, the hour of deliverance is nigh. With this, the vision of the invincible goddess faded and dissolved. Okay?